just thought I'd take this little clip because uh, some of the folks on the group might be interested in this. Um, I fired up the printer yesterday for the first time in a while because I'm uh, I'm needing to um, to try and create a movement ring. Um, and while I was doing that, I found a link to this on another group. And as you can see, it's it's a movement holder, but it's an adjustable one with three doofers. Um, and I thought that's kind of nifty. I know there are metal versions of a similar kind of nature, but that's an entirely 3D printed one. It's got a bolt and a nut there, which holds them together. And it's not a perfect print. It's a little bit warped, but that's my printer. That's not the, the files or the design. That's basically my printer that's not... Um, sort of dialed in for this filament fully or properly but as you can see it's got quite a wide range of, of adjustment and it's it's not half bad um these uprights that hold the movement could do with being a little bit taller i discovered because i tried a belmatic movement in them and the uh if it's dialed facing dial down then the uh the cam pinion protrudes quite a way and, uh, and pretty much almost touches this. But I've got this 6139 movement here. And other than it being just ever so slightly fiddly to kind of get the initial size, I'm just going to stick this in here and kind of demonstrate. He says, hopefully. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Another little fettle around. And... The tension's just set by the nut and bolt, but it's pretty good, as you can see. Um, and it's quite firm to work on. Give that, okay, you can sort of knock it out if you prod it in the wrong area. Uh, but the guy who designed it, I'm pretty sure I saw a comment by him on, uh, on a post somewhere saying he was going to try and redesign it with four, four posts rather than three um, to make it a bit sturdier. But I think that's kind of cool. Look at that. Isn't that good? Um, I think what I'm going to do is, for this one, I'm going to try printing, because it's, it's easier to elongate these in, um, in the slicing software in, um, um, can't remember the name of it, uh, Cura. So I'm going to try making those a bit taller to make it a bit more practical. I mean, it's not bad on that one, but if, if the chrono runner was in, that would be protruding quite a bit. But... Yeah, I think that's that's pretty cool, and I just thought uh, I thought some of the guys on the group would would quite like that. I'll stick. Uh, as I say, it's nothing to do with me. Um, can't take any credit for any of this, but I will stick a, a link to the Thingiverse. So anybody that's got three D printer and fancies printing themselves one, you know, there you go.